I love Fridays. For the obvious reasons of not having school the next day, but also for the fact that everyone seems a lot happier. In school, Fridays for me is like when Columbus saw land for the first time in three months. I am finally seeing the weekend and I cannot be happier. However, a lot of the happiness that goes on on Fridays has to do with my teachers and their attitudes. You still have the same hard asses that won't let up. Happy Friday, everyone. Happy Friday to you too, Mr. Luchetta. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Pop quiz. No. But then you also have the chill, relaxed teachers who are equally looking forward to the weekend as you. Which brings me to my favorite teacher of junior year, and probably ever, Mr. Faulkner. The way Mr. Faulkner goes about his relationships with each student is marvelous. I think most kids enjoy his class as much as he enjoys teaching because he is so easy to talk to. And don't forget this man's smile. Seeing his expressions on his face really put a smile on the whole class. Lunch just ended, so all I have to do is enjoy my last 45 minutes of school with the one and only Mr. Faulkner. The bell rings, signaling one more period of teaching these pathetic morons. It sometimes pains me to put this fake smile on, but I choose to do it so the kids smile, making them slightly less ugly to look at. If you're going to have that much acne on your face, Fiona, just don't come to school. I don't want to look at that. And for the love of God, this man Carl needs to learn how to use deodorant. He hasn't caught on yet why I put him in the corner of the room every day. Just ask me to go to the bathroom. I'd be more than happy to write you a pass. But if I set aside all the waste in this high school with actual students I enjoy talking to, by default, I would have to choose Mark. His greetings towards me every time he walks in the door reminds me of when Carol would come into our room with breakfast in bed. The spark we shared 15 years ago is not the same as it is now, but Mark has good intentions. He listens to me and doesn't have this attention span of a goldfish. But he is not that Mr. bad. Mr. Faulkner, hey, what's, what's going on? What's, how you doing? How's your Friday going? How's the wife? How's therapy going? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I know that therapy's going well. You told me yesterday. It's, I know how much you hate the repetition, but I was just trying to make conversation. Shut the hell up. Go take a seat, you meaningless piece of... Jerry Faulkner, Jerry Faulkner you, have you have to relax. To relax. Breathe. 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 Just take this all, this in. all in. Remember what Dr. Well, Lombardo, Lombardo told us at our last, last session. session. I'm great, Mark. Thanks for asking. Let me just get this out there. Mr. Faulkner is not fooling me for one second. This man really thinks he's fooling all of us with that smile. He ain't happy. He doesn't enjoy his life. He's straight up sad at this point in his career. He's sad. I don't know what I did to this dude, but he always looks at me like I killed his wife or something. Carl, you want to put your phone away? Get ready for some learning? It is Friday, after all. I swear to God, Mr. Faulkner's actually the biggest dick meat sandwich you could ever meet. He's always giving me the cold shoulder, telling me to put my phone away. Meanwhile, Fiona's texting her five head to hella guys and during class. Carl, do you want to go finish your little textathon outside? Courtyard, maybe? Or, or go to the bathroom and do what you got to do, you know? Mark! Did you do the homework? I didn't do it. Of course I did the homework. I wouldn't want to hurt the sweetest soul in the world, especially with what's going on at home. You know, with Carol. Who the hell's Carol, Mark? His wife. I was reading over his shoulder, and it seems like there's a lot of tension. Mark makes me very uncomfortable. Something about the way he approaches his classmates and his teachers, it's, it's a little too personal at some points with teachers, especially Mr. Faulkner. It's, I'm not gonna lie, it's weird. To be quite honest, I'm very concerned with Jerry's emotions. It seems like our sessions together keep getting worse and worse. He seems stressed when he talks about his line of work, and then he becomes straight depressed discussing the only thing he has ever going for him, Mrs. Faulkner. I suggested several times that Carol and Jerry should come together as a couple's therapy session, but it doesn't seem like she is on board. So Jerry, how was your week? So let me tell you all about it. Sound good? Um, yeah. That's what I was just asking. Monday was awful because the pizzeria didn't have any margarita slices. And Tuesday was the faculty meeting after school, which was just 60 minutes of absolute hell. Moving on to Wednesday and Thursday where the damn kids were already done with the week, 
and ready for Friday. And then Friday was going all right because I'm counting down the seconds until the weekend when all of a sudden Mark walks through the door. <laughs> I've told you about Mark, right? Hey, what's, what's yes. You mention him quite often. So Mark walks through the door and brings up my wife. Who in their right mind would do that? I see. Quite the dilemma. So, how's Carol doing? God damn it, Doctor! What did I tell you about bringing up Carol? Just forget about it! Jerry, I know you don't like me bringing up Carol, and it's a big issue, but it's my duty to do this. Jerry, what are you doing? We still have 57 minutes. Take those 57 minutes and shove them up your ass. All right, class, new week, new movie. Everyone turn to the front. We are gonna watch a documentary on divorce. What? Not for nothing, but doesn't a documentary about divorce sort of seem Depressing. I, I don't think most students would feel comfortable watching a documentary about that. Especially the ones with divorced parents. Hey, Mr. F. I think being divorced is pretty cool. I'm not divorced myself, but I have two parents that are. I have two cozy beds, two Christmases, two Xboxes. But not two sticks of deodorant. Crap, Crap. did I just did say, I just say, that, say out that out loud? Did someone hear me? Hear me? I could lose my could job over saying, saying something, something like that. Like that. What'd you say? I couldn't quite hear you and I'm sitting in the front, which means someone like Carl couldn't even hear your wonderful piece of information. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, no homework. You, you have the rest of the period for yourselves. Yeah. I froze. I froze. Why the hell, Why would, the I hell, hell would I say that? that? What's, What's wrong with me? Wrong with me? So, no documentary? I hate this place. Myself? Mr. F, don't do this. Don't jump. I need you to teach me what I haven't been taught. Why do you care about green screens and, and the rule of thirds? Nobody cares about me. Not my students. Not my fellow teachers. Not my wife, Carol. What point is there in living when there's nothing to live for? Mr. Faulkner, please, don't! Goodbye, Mark. Bye, 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 bye. No! no! It brings me brings to my, me favorite, my favorite teacher, teacher of junior, junior, junior and probably, probably ever, 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 Mr. Mr. Faulkner. Faulkner. The way Mr. 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 Faulkner. And, and don't, don't forget, forget this man's man smile. Smile. Seeing smile. Seeing his expression, expression, expression on his face, face, face really put really a smile, put a smile on the whole class. class. The great part about not having a class for his period is that there is no line at the coffee machine in the teacher's lounge. I'm also using my favorite mug because dreadful Tuesdays have to come with some joy. I hope these next 45 minutes of first period go by so slowly 
so I can enjoy my coffee and the morning newspaper. I open the door and instantly shed an internal tear. Mark, what the hell are you doing sobbing at my desk? What do you have, some sort of crush on me? What's the matter with you? For the last decade of my life, I felt miserable and unwanted. But today, Mark's making me feel important and I'm genuinely happy right now. Okay, 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 you're, you're making this weird now. All right, yeah. Sometimes life's gonna suck, but moments like these make it all worthwhile. I can't do this anymore. Michael treats me so much better. His generosity with this necklace he gave me really shows that he is a gentleman. So I filed the divorce papers today. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. You have been the one. You have been the one for me Goodbye, my lover Goodbye, my friend You have been the one You have been the one for me I am a dreamer And when I wake You can break my spirit It's my dreams you take And as you move on Remember me, remember us and all we used to be. I've seen you cry, I've seen you smile, I've watched you sleeping for a while. I'd be the father of your child.